recent, please? I know it's been a minute. I know. I know. All right. I get it. I get it. But I'm back. Um, and I wanted to put my ornaments on a nail for Christmas time. Uh, also, so I have a nail business, a press on nail business. This set right here is called Wrapping Paper. It is on my website and I will put all of that information in the description box below. But basically for this series, I chose five ornaments to put on a nail. So it's going to be five episodes. But if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And yeah, we're going to get to getting. So I have a few things that I'm going to start out with. These are the sample stiletto um, tips that I'm going to use for the series. I'm going to take the gel polish that's in number six. That's red. This no wipe top coat and i'm going to use some sh uh some silver glitter y'all this glitter is going to be the death of me throughout this whole series like this glitter caused me problems all right but we're going to push through also i'm going to use this black sugar glitter and i'm going to also use this and self number 26 gel pot paint it's black and I'm going to get a dotting tool and a very fine line brush so again this is the nail tip that I'm going to use y'all don't mind my paper bowls okay I'm trying to get my life right but this is all that I got right now in regards to like mixing and stuff like that but how we're gonna start out, we're gonna take uh, the top coat and I just wanna place a dollop of that in the bowl. I'm going to use that to kind of make the red gel polish a little bit more translucent. So as I'm mixing and mixing, I'm just putting a little bit of clear with the red and still going. But I'm, I realized that it's pinkish, so I just kept adding more red. Um, but then at the end you'll see what I what I did ultimately but just to get a base on the nail I started out by using the dotting tool just to make the circles from the ornament um, it's a lot of overlapping circles in between like the red dots and the silver glitter dots so I'm just gonna start out with the red and I just wanted to place three dots just wherever I wanted to I just pick some spots and um, I'm gonna cure that for 90 seconds y'all it wasn't dark enough so I had to do it again all right I just did another layer and cured it for 90 seconds again then I was like look this ain't working for me so I just used the red like not even diluted with clear and I just dabbed a little bit on top of the dots and I just you know put it on top and cured it for 90 seconds after doing that I um, basically took some swipe just to get the tacky layer off of from the gel polish and then I'm going to take that top coat that's in the bowl and make clear circles um, I wanted to overlap one of the red circles with the silver one so without curing i'm going to take the silver glitter and use my little baby scooper and i'm going to just um aim to dump the glitter on the clear dots uh if they get on the red dots it's fine you can get it off but um i try to get it on the circles and then cure it for 90 seconds After curing for 90 seconds, uh, I just basically leave, leave the glitter however it is. And then I take a fan brush and I just knock off the excess. Um, there were some glitter on the red dots, so I just took my dotting tool and just kind of pried them off. Uh, but 
it, that wasn't hard to do and it looks like that and so far it is definitely looking like the ornament um, I have two dots that are overlapping and a couple that aren't so now the next thing to do is <laughs> write ho 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 on that thing <laughs> so in order to do this I need the sh I needed the shortest and finest um, detail brush that I had on me so I grabbed one and I'm writing ho 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 um, in some spots it's not going to be both of the letters it'll just be like part of the letter like part of the H or part of the O um, to make it look like it was cut off but I'm starting out by just getting my bearings on the placement uh, I didn't know where to go with this because I didn't want it to be um, too crowded but um, I'm basically just writing ho 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 and the h and the o's it, wherever i could wherever i wanted to it didn't even matter <laughs> and i will let y'all watch me do that because this kind of take a little minute but we're going to fast forward through it Okay, so I cured the first layer for 90 seconds and I put a second layer on top and it looks darker but I'm not going to cure this I'm just going to go ahead and take that black sugar glitter take my little scooper and dump the sugar glitter on top of the ho ho holes I'm just going to aim it there so that the black glitter doesn't mix in with the silver glitter because I didn't encapsulate it um, I want it to be I wanted it to be textured like the ornament itself so I just kind of aimed differently um, and after I did that I would knock it off by tapping it um, I you don't touch it you don't touch it with the fan brush yet you got to cure it for 90 seconds and then after that 90 seconds I dust it off with um, a fan brush and it comes out cleaner however uh, I noticed that it was kind of catching glitter outside of the ho ho holes so I took my dotting tool and just kind of scraped around it and this is basically what it looks like um I think I did pretty well this looks super super cute um I have four more ornaments left to do so y'all will definitely get more content but make sure that you all subscribe and that you give me a thumbs up but y'all look at this it's so cute now when I said earlier in a video like the silver glitter is going to be the death of me y'all is going to be the death of me because the difference is the silver glitter on the ornament is very fine the silver glitter that I have is a mixture of chunky and fine so hmm yeah that's gonna cause problems but look at it look at it random thought uh, if you see that I'm ashy yes yeah, because I washed my hands a lot and also I'm going to be using the same mixing bowl for all of the videos so yeah but I will see y'all on the flip side I'm going to post the next episode very soon, so be on the lookout. And yeah, <laughs> bye.